Hey, to all my friends out there, caregivers. It's a beautiful April 1st day, 2020. And I'm just sending you a peaceful message from Nancy, the nurse practitioner, uh, that we will, we will get over this, we will get through this. We just have to stay on course. There's a couple things I want to go over with you that I've observed, like going to the grocery store, people wearing winter gloves, leather gloves, pushing carts. Kind of not a great idea. You know, our hands are our best organs. You can clean them, wash and wear them. The best thing to do is when you go to the grocery store is use the Purell when you go in. When you touch vegetables and whatnot, and you get home, you should wash them off with just warm water after you've washed your hands going in the house and let them dry. Please do not use bleach or any kind of uh, disinfectant wipes on them and do not um, use soap and water because you'll get a stomach ache. So just wash your hands first when you get home after you've touched all your groceries. Do not wear gloves to the grocery store. You can just use Purell wherever you go. If you feel like your hands are soiled or something while you're in the store, go into the bathroom and wash your hands for 20 seconds. Wash, wash, wash. Wash your hands. The other thing is, is if you come home and you realize that somebody is sick in your house, we've been over the symptoms of COVID, we've been over how to prevent it. Um, even wearing masks is not necessary right now, when the main thing is keeping our distance six feet. It better not to talk to people as you're walking by them in a store or anywhere. Just wave nicely and just keep going, okay? Don't forget about sneezing into your elbow if you don't have a tissue. And uh, making sure you're washing your hands whenever you come home from anywhere. But the other thing is, is if somebody's got a fever or they're not feeling well, you don't know if they've been exposed, you know, the best thing to do is put yourself in a separate room and actually quarantine yourself. If you live with other people, let them give you dinner on a paper plate, plastic fork, so you're not using utensils, and start counting on a calendar 14 days to um, quarantine yourself. Especially if you're in a house with a bunch of people now. Grandma moved in, your kids are home from school, you're home, you know, it's a big group of people in one house, somebody's gonna get sick. So just make sure that even though they're in the house with you, that you wanna self-quarantine if you have symptoms of COVID. And that could be a dry cough, a low-grade fever, aches and pains, you know, um, the beginning of a flu, sore throat, it's like a bunch of different things could happen, even uh, diarrhea, all right? So uh, make sure you stay put for 14 days away from everybody. Even designate a bathroom for yourself um, or a space in the bathroom. Wipe up behind you, doorknobs, handles in the car, steering wheel, um, high-touch areas like sink uh, faucets and um, countertops. Okay, so enjoy this day and know that there, we need to have faith and hope, take care of each other, and um, enjoy the little things, and we will get through this. Peace from Nancy the Nurse Practitioner.